In this video, we will be covering the second part of the examples from section 2.2. So this problem says, use the rules of differentiation to find the derivative of y equals pi x, oh, I'm sorry, pi cosine x minus sine x plus 2 e to the x. So I'm going to take the derivative of this function. I haven't done it yet. I'm just writing the notation to tell the reader that I will take the derivative. Now that I'm taking the derivative, this is a constant multiplier and the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. This is a constant multiplier, then a visible one coefficient. The derivative of sine is cosine x. Here's another constant multiplier and the derivative of e to the x is still e to the x. So I end up with negative pi sine x minus cosine x plus 2 e to the x as my derivative. For example 5, it says find the derivative of this function. So if I'm going to do the derivative of y, get y prime. If I'm going to do the derivative of this side, I will have to manipulate the problem a little bit. So I am going to have to rewrite this so that the fraction, the x, is written as a negative exponent. Then I'm going to use my constant multiplier rule and then I'm going to use my power rule for this um, expression here. So bring down the power times x and then decrease the power by 1. So I get negative 2x to the negative 3, which means 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 over 9 x to the negative 3. Or I can put that back downstairs and I get negative 16 over 9x cubed. Now example six is very similar. So I'm going to rewrite this as y prime equal to the derivative of three over two x cubed. So if I rewrite this, that is three over eight x cubed because two cubed is eight and x cubed is x cubed. And then I'm going to do the same sort of process I did before. Take the constant multiplier out, rewrite x as a negative exponent since it's in the denominator, and then use my power rule. Combine my constants there. And finally, rewrite that negative exponent in the denominator.